Cool, yeah, sounds good. All right, I'll, uh, I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye. <laughs>other reasons why I'm doing this is because I mean normally uh, two reasons number one I mean like I said titles exaggerated titles everybody does that except for probably Doug DeMuro he's about the only one who doesn't um, so the title thing I get but then he said it multiple times in the video which even that it's not a big deal but also because uh, from what I understand he's giving this car away somebody's going to win this car at some point for doing you know you buy merchandise you get entered in the giveaway um, pretty standard practice even I've done it um, so somebody is eventually going to win the car at some point and I'm just saying for anybody who, who Anybody who wins like you are sadly mistaken if you think you're getting an 800 horsepower car Mike you got to see Strawman's new video. Why didn't you do that to your 570? You really should have done that tuning and those modifications to your 570 uh, I've been getting messages about it all day long and for the past couple of days actually and now I got to look at this video myself So here we go is so that people are asking me and you guys know I did just about everything you can do with the 570 raced everybody did countless downpipes did the tune from DME is my tuner and uh, You know those cars make the DME cars which are by the way the world record cars the world record 570 and 720 from DME um, And that was the again the tuning company that I had and used and will be using on the 720 uh, those cars make about 600 wheels somewhere in that somewhere in that neighborhood and you could say like 600 wheel about 660 maybe 670 to the crank mclarens have very little driveline loss so like a normal car you would say you know take your crank horsepower number and then you know take about 10 or 12 or 13 14 percent off and that gets your wheel number well with mclaren's it's more like probably eight percent if that as we've discovered with 720s and other people have when they put them on the dyno but anyway let's check out the video here we go we just got the call. we've got our man strawd man here he's got some type of, he's got an audi key mexico we're going to mexico today Definitely. if you guys saw my last video the baby mac is up it makes the models right now because today the new exhaust and the new ECU is being installed. FedEx just arrived with the ECU, baby. I can feel the 800 horsepower. The thing about it is, you know, I like James, like his channel. I've never met him in person, but I've talked to him a few times. And uh, he seems like a good guy, but this one is some bullshit. And I, I, gotta, I gotta say it. And I know, you know, everybody likes to have a good title. I do the same thing as the next guy when it comes to titles. But when people are asking me about the power number, well, I have to say what the reality is. This out, ladies and gentlemen, this is 800 horsepower right here. The new ECU just arrived from 1016. So as soon as the exhaust is installed, this is installed. We're gonna see flames and 800 horse. This is too good of a day. There's the ECU. This is It is not even in the realm of 800 horsepower. And if you guys remember, I took out my own ECU, shipped it out, got it tuned, got it back, installed it in the car. It's actually a really easy install on a 570. John did it as well. I helped him do it uh, in his garage. And all you gotta do is take the fender liner out, unplug the ECU, ship it out, you get it back, and then you plug it back in. It's that simple. Um, so here we go. 1016. So as soon as the exhaust is installed... Now, he's saying his, his tuning is coming from 1016 Industries. Now, 1016 makes a lot of body kits, and they do a lot of carbon stuff for cars. They make some really cool-looking kits. I'll give them that. Flames and 800 horsepower. This is too good of a day. It says 570 horsepower. It actually has 800, so just real low key. I'm just going to fix that real quick. We got some Catless downpipes on there. We got a tune and we got an advertisement. Anyway, the point is the car is making, you know, wh wherever they're getting their tuning, 1016, uh, the car is probably making about, you know, five, somewhere in the fives, 560 maybe horsepower, somewhere in that neighborhood. Um, like I said, you know, the car is not making anywhere near 800, not at the wheels, not even at the crank. Uh, you could get a 570 if you did upgraded turbos and you did the catless downpipes and tuning for all that you could with a hundred octane you could probably get close to like 700 wheel maybe if you if you had all that which would put you near 800 crank but not with an ec not with an exhaust and an ecu tune not happening and i would 100 percent if i had my 570 i would say let's go out on a roll and um, and I guarantee I would have walked that 570, especially with the wing on it. But anyway, um, that's just, I had to say that, and this is not to be like, I know it kind of seems like a call out because it is sort of, but it, it's not like a, it's not like a thing where I don't give a shit what he's doing. That's great. But I just had to answer for the people that were asking me about it. You know, he can do whatever he wants with his life and his channel. That's 
totally okay. A lot of people were asking me like, why didn't you do that with your car? Well, very simply, I did the same stuff and my car more than likely made more power and was faster, but it wasn't anywhere close to 800 horsepower. And I, I don't know, see, this could be one of those things. I don't know if that's what the tuning company, I don't know if that's what 1016 is telling him or if he really thinks that. Either way, it's either way, it's not right. Not even close. And again, this was not meant to be like, oh, you know, fuck Strahd, man, whatever. But, um, you know, just for the people, because I had at least, and I'm not kidding you, because for, for me to even do this, you know, I had to have a lot of people asking, and it was at least 100 people asking. Um, and you guys have all seen my videos and the evidence, so I had to address it. I felt like I should address it. And if, you know, he believes that, and I'll, I'll put a challenge up right now, just record, it'll be very easy to, to compare it because just record, if his car's got anywhere near 800, it should be miles faster than my 570 was. So fair enough, just put up a video of like a 50 to 130 run or 50 to 150 or 100 to 150 or whatever it is and compare it to the videos I have. And I mean, his car should be blowing mine out of the water, but I bet you it doesn't. Okay, Ty. You ready? There <laughs> you go. Oh, I like the new addition. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, nice. we, we try to be accurate on the vlog. No, we, we try to be accurate on the vlog. We try to be accurate on the vlog. We try to be accurate on the vlog. No, I think it's also really important to point out one of the other reasons why I'm doing this is because, I mean, normally, Two reasons. Number one, I mean, like I said, titles, exaggerated titles, everybody does that, except for probably Doug DeMuro. He's about the only one who doesn't. Um, so the title thing I get, but then he said it multiple times in the video, which even that, it's not a big deal. But also because, uh, from what I understand, he's giving this car away. Somebody's going to win this car at some point for doing, you know, you buy merchandise, you get entered in the giveaway. Um, pretty standard practice, even I've done it. Um, so somebody is eventually going to win the car at some point. And I'm just saying for anybody who, who, anybody who wins, like you are sadly mistaken if you think you're getting an 800 horsepower car and it's gonna leave people very confused. So I just wanted to also mention that because I don't need a bunch of people driving a 570 and saying like, why is it so fucking slow for 800 horsepower? Well, because it doesn't have, it has about 200 less than that, um, a lot less. And, two, and like, if it was like 50 horsepower, maybe, but 200 less, that's a lot. To wrap everything up, a couple of things because, you know, I feel really passionate about McLarens. I, I really do, as you guys know, and especially modifying McLarens because I've taken a lot of pride in like, you know, being somebody who does modify it and one of the early people because it's an early brand. And I hate when I see misinformation out there. If you had a car with Catless downpipes, 100 octane fuel, race gas, um, and, up, and upgraded turbos, and that's the big one, that's a big job because you have to get somebody to make the upgraded turbos to machine the stock ones and do everything. Pure Turbos does it, Wise Tech does it. Um, it's not necessarily hard, but you got a company has to do it. And again, with tuning in the race fuel, maybe you'd see 700, but that car makes under six. And I guarantee you, if he takes me up on my challenge of doing just a side-by-side -side speedo comparison and the video is not sped up at all, which you know somebody could tell if it was, uh, I guarantee you that my 570 was faster. And it's not because like, oh, I'm gotta be the fastest one. I don't give a shit. I just don't want there to be misinformation out there. So that's my conclusion of the video and that is my answer for all the for all the people asking me about it. Let me know what you think about all of this and of course I will have 720S tuning coming very soon which means I can continue doing the very important McLaren tuning research which I know that all of you really really care about and you all really need. Now that that is over and done with uh, we are going over to John's house as I mentioned uh, because he wants a little rematch with the Raptor and the Dirty Max. I still think we got this boys. Dirty Max ain't built for speed but she can she can run when she needs to. Last time I told John I wasn't gonna do this. There it is and I did anyway so obviously I'm gonna do the same exact <laughs> I'm gonna do the same exact thing this time and let's go to Switch tunes. We're gonna go to the race tune. And now that tune is in the truck. And uh, that's gonna be the key to victory here, boys. The key to victory. We got the race tune in. It's about all we can do.
Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Yeah. You got the plane taken off? Yeah. Right in front of your car, it's kind of far away. Oh, but. hell yeah, dude. No. All right, so basically, what do you think is going to happen here, dude? Uh, so because I have the slowest fast cars on the planet next to you. <laughs> you honestly think I have any chance of beating you? I think you're out of your mind, dude. I don't think I there's a chance. Dude, I mean, well, well, we're going from a dig. From a roll, there's no doubt you would have me. There's no there's no doubt in yeah, that. Roll. You already did. We yeah. did a little thing on the highway. Which, we can race these and really not even speed. Oh, no, which is what's fun. Race to the speed limit? Yeah. We, like, I can literally race this truck and not break the speed limit at all. So, we did that. The Raptor's definitely fast. It's a tune Raptor. You got at least, what, 500? You got at least 500 horsepower. I don't even know what it is on. It's 450 factory. To, on the dyno, I honestly was like 470 to put down on the 470 like wheel. Yeah. That's pretty solid then, yeah. Yeah. And uh, this truck, I mean, should make about 350 horsepower, about 800 pound feet, somewhere in there, but it's a lot more torque. really heavy. And last time I made that stupid comment that I would drive into a tree if you beat me. Yeah, I, I noticed you still haven't driven. You still haven't driven into a tree. I haven't. No, <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't bring myself. To well, do that's it. why we're doing this redemption. I mean, we gotta give. We gotta give John his fair shot. Uh, he deserves redemption. I mean, you know, it, it should be fun. I, I think the Duramax is. It's, it's not built for speed. That's the problem here. It's something different than racing the McLaren. Yeah, we always race our, our cars. Well, now we're racing trucks. Yeah, race the truck. yeah. And we did that dirt race was cool. I don't care what anybody says. Oh no, that was awesome. I it was it. a lot of fun. Steve is a retard for riding the bed again. Actually, what is he doing? We can call him and tell him to come out. Honestly, he's, he's, well, you know, Steve, he's probably doing something terrible at home. Or he's arrested. Or he's arrested. Yeah, in jail. We have to go bail him out after this. Either one. Thing though, I will say, if I lose, it's only because I have extra weight well, in the back. Yourself. Dude, that's a, that's 130 pounds right there. Are you kidding me? Unreal. So I forgot to take that out. I forgot I was racing today. Imagine that. I didn't plan to race in my truck. So um, then John called me up. Yeah. I wasn't really prepared. Oh, yeah. They're heavy. How about this? If I lose. If I win, we take that out and put in the bed. That makes sense. Of the Raptor just to see what happens. As if 130 pounds when you're talking about 8,000 makes a difference. Oh, look, there goes a plane. Look, there's one landing. There is a loss on the Street Speed channel, a loss, but I don't give a shit. It's the Dirty Mac. She doesn't care about, the, the Duramax, she does not care about going fast. She's all about power and good looks. Um, but actually, I was actually kind of surprised that I did that well from the 30 roll. I mean, it didn't, I mean, kept up, kept up pretty good. And that's not a truck. I mean, I literally have an EGR delete and an exhaust and that's it. Yeah, it's the only thing done and, uh, you know, tuning which uh, apparently the tuning isn't even available anymore. Uh, from EFI Live tuning is available, but um, you know mine was tuned by ATP Trucks, Idaho Rob, and I guess that tuning is, is no more, unfortunately. But it's been great for me for the last uh, three years. I have no complaints. I always recommended it, and I know it was a huge name in the diesel world. Um, speaking of other news in the diesel world, uh, L5P Duramax tuning is now available. The ECU is finally cracked, and those trucks are making over 1,200 pound-feet of torque on just a tune. So you can get a new Duramax, tune it, and you have 1,200 pound-feet of torque. It's pretty insane. Um, so maybe, you know, I'll go look at a truck. And I was actually supposed to have a new Ford delivered here today, and something happened where that didn't work out. But very soon on the channel, we should be seeing a brand new Ford, and I have tons of stuff 
uh, plan for that vehicle. It's going to be really, really fun. Everybody, whenever I have a Ford on the channel, it seems to get really good views. So people like it and uh, it should be it should be great when it gets here. Let the garage air out a little bit, as you can see, and I have to paint this baseboard white. So that looks like ugly. That kind of makes the whole thing look ugly, but the floor is really, really cool. Very excited about it. It looks fantastic. And once we get the baseboard painted and the walls painted and the full lighting set up in here, it's going to be awesome. So all the content over the winter, you know, unfortunately it gets really dark. Um, it's like dark, usually in the winter it's dark all day. And then you only have daylight from like 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Um, so a lot of filming is done in the garage, but I'm doing something about it this year. It's not going to be dark and gloomy like my garage is going to be basically like a summer day outside. <laughs> That's how bright my garage is going to be. And, uh, you know, the Corrado project will be underway. The 720 is going to be doing its thing. I'm actually looking at modifications right now for the 720. Talking about getting an exhaust and maybe a tune. Just got to get some miles on it. But, um, yeah, the whole, the whole setup here is, is finally coming together, and I'm really happy about it. Now, for those of you who want to know, I am going to the Pocono Slipstream Racing event this weekend on the 13th. Um, it's the last roll race event they have, and I'm taking the 720. I expect to do pretty well and have some fun, but I know there's a lot of fast cars out there, so I don't expect to win anything. But I mean, a stock 720 is a, is a quick car, you know, it should, it should do very well. And I'm lucky because I'm actually racing in the 600 to 800 horsepower class, which means that, you know, in that, I mean, McLaren's for the horsepower number, really nothing beats it. When you consider my old 570 had less than 600 wheel and, uh, you know, was beating everything Anything below 900, it was either right in line with or beating it. So I expect the 720 to do very well. Anyway, that was the Raptor and the Duramax race. I will have more updates for you soon. As soon as my whole, you know, my whole life gets back together here, uh, I can get kind of back into the normal uh, videos, but I'm kind of like, everything is outside. It's like stressing me out. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give the upload a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Take care and have a great night.